Hey guys, I'm Rita. In this episode, I will show you how you can add a new contact on Xero. To add a new contact, we need to go to contact section. And it doesn't matter if you click on all contacts, customers or suppliers, there is the same contact template provided that will need to be filled in. And only once you issue invoice or record an invoice, it will separate between customers and suppliers list. So. To add a new contact, we need to click on new contact button, green button on the top right corner, and we will be provided with contact card, which need to be filled in. This contact card is split in two parts. So contact information, such as basic information about business or individual, as well as financial details, which would include more advanced settings, like if you want to default to particular uh, chart of account codes or add any cre uh, credit limits and discounts and etc. So let's start from top. Add contact name, even it can be individual, so name and surname, or a limited company. Add contact name there. So in my case, it will be Retail Limited. Primary person, that's the contact person who you would reach out uh, as the main contact of this business. Okay, email address, you need to provide it here. That would be, um, if you issue invoices to customers, this email address will be used to distribute uh, invoices out and the same statements and any other communication if you need to do, for example, with suppliers as well. So. If you need to add another contact details, click add another person and you will be provided with another um, like a blank field where you can fill in other person's details. Okay. If you have phone, fax, mobile and direct dial, you can add that information there and as well as Skype name, number and website. Postal address, you can find address if you start to type address details there or you can start uh, adding manual address by entering in this field town just follow gray areas what they're requiring you to fill in so if you have the same postal address as um, if you have the same street address as a postal address, so there is no separate, maybe warehouse facility or branch, then you can click same as postal address and it will copy information from above. Financial details. If this is a customer, then we can set the default um, codes, like for example here firstly about tax. So in my case, there is no tax and default code is where mainly uh, products what we're selling to this customer will be uh, recorded so let's click sales okay and purchase settings the same select vat which is applicable to you uh, or this business and default code will be cost of goods sold in my case unless you have separate codes for sales maybe for services then select appropriate uh, sales code and appropriate purchase uh, code from your chart of accounts VAT details you can provide here as well as company registration number credit limits if you use those you can add there and select one of the options provided below if you uh, want to block this account and not to send invoices if they have reached credit limit or you just uh, you want to continue send invoices even if they have uh, used up their credit limit in this case it's in customer yeah also we can add a discount and we can select different currency click on add currency there batch payments if you would use that one you can provide there and if it's supplier invoice you would have agreed already payment terms and conditions and add that information there and select one of the options provided so for example 14 days after the bill date so after the supplier invoice and if i would issue invoice to this uh, customer then i would select that i'm giving seven days and days after the invoice date so depends if this contact is supplier or um, my customer and also we can add a xero network key if 
this supplier customer use Xero system as well. So once we have, we have filled in information in these fields, click save. Okay, so new contact has been added. So we can edit this contact or add a new contact. To edit, we can click there. And we have also a couple of options to add groups, merge or archive. And clicking on this icon, we will be able to upload files like, for example, contracts. So this is a way how you can add a new contact on Xero accounting software. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me.